Okay, so one of my favorite things ever is XBMC, which is great because of you can kind of uh, it has a great presentation into your uh, media collection. So these are my movies, for example. Uh, it gives you some synopsis and stuff like that um, because it gives you an option of trying to scrape uh, from an online source. So this is scraping from I believe IMDb for my movies. So for each movie, you get your cover art. Uh, you know, movie duration, rating, rating's pretty cool. Uh, director, writer, cast, plot, uh, stuff like that. It's really neat. So you, you just point it to, to your uh, directory of media, and it will go and uh, hunt for the best match, um, just based on title name and stuff like that. Um, and even better, I like the, the TV show uh, presentation. I like these kind of uh, banner graphics kind of cool so again it just uh, point you just point it towards your uh, your TV collection and then it will kind of just uh, scrape content this is from uh, what's it called it scrapes it from the tvdb.com I think that's what it's called which is a great provider uh, so you can kind of just go through your seasons uh, for your so the, the presentation is a little different than movies it's uh, so you can kind of view by season. So this is showing me season, what was it? I think season one. So all the different episodes in it, synopsis for each of them, just a short synopsis. Uh, first air date, episode number, stuff like that. And then I really like the uh, the thumbnail, or the, I guess this, the, uh, the screenshot from the episode, which is pretty cool. And of course, yeah. So, um, and this is navigating through the remote, which is normally how people... Uh, navigate things on their TV, but what I really like is this HD remote for iPad. It's really cool. So you can add sources: uh, Windows Media Center, uh, XBMC. That's probably it right now. It's kind of buggy at this stage, and it's probably in early development. But it's it's uh, it's pretty cool. So you. Add your source, and then after you add your media source, you can find uh, you well, obviously your different media. So you can go through sources, which is just um, the actual. Uh, uh, it's just uh, directory browsing. So on my XPMC setup, I just have it pointing towards two different media sources, which is movies and TV. So this is just going through the, the actual directories. So that's this is my TV directory. This is how I ever have everything set up. Um, so you can kind of like, uh, you know, uh, you can dig in to your folders. Um, this is The Simpsons, which is not in true alphabetical order. I would, I don't know, is it really that difficult to have this go from season one to season two and then season ten come after season, or is season nine, season nine? I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, so this is just pretty much... Uh, um, just browsing by directory, which is uh, it's nice for people who want to keep things simple. But they also have uh, similar presentation uh, views to XBMC. So this is the movie view, uh, just all the different thumbnails of the different movies, um, and you know the titles, synopsis, the year, which for some reason always shows up as zero for everything. So if you want to filter by year, it doesn't really do anything from negative one to negative one. Yeah, that's that that's helpful. Uh, yeah, so you can just say, I want to watch 300. It gives you your view of 300, full synopsis. Well, that's not exactly a full synopsis, but additional information. And I would have expected something to show here, but nothing's showing up, so I guess I couldn't find the uh, artwork to show there. And then from here, you can just play it or add it to your movie, movie queue. So play it. And. Oops, I might have clicked that twice. Oh, sorry, I, I muted this. Oh, unmute. So that's cool. So I can actually pause this through this now playing menu. So paused. There we go, that's cool. But while you're watching a movie, you can actually go, or a TV episode, you can go through your media without, without interrupting what's going on uh, on the screen and choose something else to watch or queue up the next things you want to see so uh, this is the view for series 
which is pretty cool. I, I like this too. So, uh, yeah. So again, you have your cover art, or I guess uh, some kind of a, you know, screenshot or uh, box set image on the left, and then your title, synopsis, and stuff like that on the right. Um, so for TV series, it's pretty neat because if it keeps track of uh, unwatched episodes, which is which it pulls from X BMC, um, so kind of keep track of what you've watched, what you haven't watched. Um, you can kind of go through everything alphabetical on the right. Um, one thing I don't like is that it seems to pull these images down every time you go uh, to view the list. So if I were to scroll up, uh, okay, I guess most of them are there, but a lot of times when you're scrolling, it's kind of just loading them on the fly, which is a little bit annoying. Actually, I'll, I'll just go back and then back to series. Loading, 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 and see. It has to reload them all again. Kind of annoying. You gotta pause, load, pause, load. So we go down to T. Uh, the Simpsons. So this view is a lot better than just the regular file view. So it's pretty cool. It's got your, your image on the top, the bottom, it's got your different episodes, skip to a season, through the <laughs> Alright then, uh, so skip to a season on the right side, skip to season 21, uh, I want to watch the last episode, which is episode 23, so you can either cue it, play it, I want to play it, and there it is. So it's really simple, uh, but... I really like it. It's pretty cool. So this is exactly what the iPad is um, go going to get at. Because it's basically for your couch, right? You're, it's a great thing for your coffee table. Um, so it's pretty much like a big ass remote. Yeah. So it's a little buggy because of uh, here. I'm gonna switch the uh, the view from landscape to portrait. Or sorry, no, that was portrait. To landscape. Uh, I think the view could have, they could have put a little more work into this. They kind of just stacked two images on the left, left a gap underneath. So I'll show you another one. Kind of like a gap underneath. Some of them will look okay if it's a white image, but other ones, like, let's try this one. I don't know. It just, it just looks like there should be something there. They could have really you know, made it filtered with something. But anyways, this is it's, it's a little buggy because you can't actually filter by genre without it crashing. So if I want to say comedy or documentary, oh, it crashed. So back into HTML remote. It loads up pretty quick though. So you know, I don't know. and then that's why I always keep it in the other view. So I'll just rotate this over here because this view doesn't crash. Lock. Lock the orientation, and then good to go. Yeah, so that's it. It's pretty cool. I like it.